just read a couple poems. So this is called, I love you even if it means conforming to the establishment. <laughs> I once met a man, bald, sunglass tan on his head. He chewed his gum with business, told me why, told me he was only into controversial drugs, bottle tucked away in the pocket of his $200 jeans. I met controversy. I met them while waiting in line at a Patti Smith show, my underage wristband surrounded by gray hair and wrinkled mouths from years of smoking, fat old men shot up behind CBGBs, now sending their daughters to college. Controversy was tucked away behind me, a wife and her sunscreen, lovingly cooling her husband's back. Her blonde bob reminded me of your mom and the time I made fun of your suburban family. I laughed when your mom folded your clothes and shifted in my seat while they prayed before dinner. God, you even had a family dog named Eli. Well, this woman at the Patty Smith show was not your mom, wedlocked to your stoutly dad. No, her husband looked like Slash. Long, curly, black hair sweating in the sun, smoked his cigarettes like John Cooper Clark, hunched over in a bloody, cheeky smirk of a twat. <laughs> this is the kind of asshole I wanted to be when I was a teen. The kind that wore skull necklaces and spike bracelets, black skinny jeans in the middle of summer. He told me about near-death experiences on the New York City subway the drugs he did in dirty clubs in the 70s. But she kills him with kindness, he pointed to his wife. Then to me, you look like you can hurt a lot of people with that sweet, kind look. But this isn't about how I hitchhiked to another city to see my favorite band at 15, how I broke glass on the road before passing cars while listening to Iggy Pop because I wasn't punk enough to break anything else at 13, or even the times I would run away from home, headphones plugged into my discman, crying on my favorite bridge by the Catholic school, and come home because I didn't think my dad loved me enough to know where I was. This isn't even about controversy, because controversy exists in an old married couple with a timeshare in Austin and a town home in New York City and two kids and a dog about to go see Patti Smith with other old married couples and a young girl and her boyfriend who got hit in the head with the guitar at a punk show and his dad tried to sue the venue <laughs> and then tried to sue the band and then spent the next few years harassing the girl who took him to the punk show on a school night. <laughs> And this one is called Feral. <clears throat> we were animals abandoned, left to the scraps on the curb of our neighbors, all houses that might have also been broken. But when we had spent our time sucking smoke in the dirt brown carpets, filled with the pained cries of our father, whose brittle bones cracked on concrete and left us, it was easy to imagine all we did not have. You were a cat, easily slipping through the fence and wandering into the arms of company, real warm bodies against your conniving tail before making it back to the seclude that we established. But I was the dog, your claws scratched against my terror teeth as you indulged in the soothing rituals of fumes that made us strangers. So my canines bit into your shoulders until, you're, until you bled slowly slipping into sleep. The whites of your eyes turned red before closing. I wanted you to give me something to keep me warm. So I stole the fur from off your back, burnt it, and left it, uh, left before the smoke lit out. 